Hi, hope you're having a great day. You're watching JFG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm going to go over the newly announced animated studio called Nintendo Pictures. And I'm going to give you the whole info on Nintendo and how they're moving forward with an animation studio, which is actually super interesting, and what possible movies that they can be, and perhaps a Nintendo uh, universe, perhaps a cinematic universe. We'll see about that. It's definitely very interesting, and what movies they could possibly put in the lineup. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, Nintendo has acquired a CG animated studio called Dynamo Pictures, uh, and Dynamo Pictures will now be called Nintendo Pictures. So Dynamo Pictures is no longer in existence. Now it's Nintendo Pictures, which is the new, uh, the new division that Nintendo's going to have to produce animated movies. Their focus, according to their own words, is to focus on development of visual content utilizing Nintendo IP. So it doesn't necessarily have to be movies or TV, or it doesn't necessarily have to be movies, it could also be TV shows. They also said planning and production of visual content, including CG animation. So clearly, it really is going to focus a lot on uh, other content besides games, something that's more um, like movies, TV shows, I think that's what I'm guessing. I don't know if they're going to do anything else with it, or maybe games, perhaps. Who knows? Um, uh, but like mobile games, I don't know. I don't think they want to get on Nintendo. So like, I think it's just probably going to be movie and TV shows with the Nintendo IP. Clearly, Nintendo is planning to build their own new movie universe. Uh, like I said, perhaps shows as well with their very popular IP after hit video game movies Sonic One and Two earlier this year, which did really really good at the box office, like really nicely. And Uncharted also been a box office hit surprisingly, even though many people thought it was gonna flop. It was actually a pretty nice hit this year. So yeah, uh, with all these movies and even with TV moving on to video game adaptations, like Last of Us is getting its own show on HBO uh, Max and HBO uh, where right now it's currently filming and I think it might actually be done by now so yeah clearly uh, this uh, new wave of like video game movies and TV shows is coming to the small screens and big screens and it's really causing a big big splash whereas before and um, video game movies were failing and they were really bad uh, critics would hate them fans would hate them now it seems like it's switching up now fans are gonna love them now the critics love them money wise they do a lot of money uh, even Sonic is building like its own universe it's gonna have like the Knuckles show and, and Paramount Plus and everything so clearly it, video game movies are a new thing of the present you know what I mean or of the future perhaps you know it's definitely gonna be something that grows and maybe perhaps one day it can get us big superheroes who knows the first movie to be released in, under this new Nintendo IP is going to be Super Mario Bros. Uh, it was a Super Mario Bros. movie, I think that's what you gotta call it, which is which was already announced a while ago and it's coming next year in April 7th. So yeah, that's really nice. Uh, less than a year or so away, so it's, we're actually really, really close from this movie. And uh, we do know that the Mario will be voiced by Chris Pat, um, which is actually something controversial, but I can't wait to hear Chris Pat's voice. I'm actually very curious. And Anna Taylor John Johnson uh, will be playing Princess Peach, uh, voice acting Princess Peach. Uh, and that's just to name a few cast members so yeah so we're really ha about to have the first movie in the Nintendo universe on big screens I'm very curious to see how this movie turns out it is a Mario movie of course I can't destroy Mario because Mario is just the biggest character out there for Nintendo and the, probably the most mainstream out there so there's like right behind it too so yeah that makes sense and I honestly can't wait to see it the Mario movie however is coming out with just no difference through animation than Nintendo pictures in fact this Mario movie is going to be animated by Illumination which just very very recently like I think it was like two weeks ago released Minion Star Seguru and everything and Minion Star has been a huge hit box office wise and people are loving that movie as well so yeah Mario might be on the good hands right now in Elimination Studio however it's clear that the feature of Nintendo IP movies will be released by their own newly acquired studio Nintendo Pictures instead of Elimination why is this? well perhaps Elimination asked for too much cut of the money box office wise or maybe they want to take their movies a little bit more seriously Nintendo wants to take their movies a little bit more seriously whereas Illumination takes their movies on a more like a fun way, kind of like Rise of Gru, Minions, um, The Spickle Me, The Franchise, Secret Life of Pets. All those type of movies are a lot more funny and not as like serious as maybe the Nintendo movies want to take their own franchise. Maybe they want to take it more like Pixar perhaps or, or DreamWorks or who knows, you know what I mean? But clearly uh, Illumination maybe wasn't the fit for their taste. Who knows? I still, think, I still have a lot of faith on, on the Mario movie. I don't know exactly why they cut uh, ties with Nomination and instead of decided to buy their own studio. But if I have to do something with money wise, you know, I think it's a lot more profitable for Nintendo to do the movies themselves than having to hire a different uh, animation studio, like it's Illumination, which is like at the very top of animation, uh, animation studios, to make their movies. I'm pretty sure they probably took a very serious cut of the money. Clearly, however, the Mario movie is the start of a new wave of Nintendo animated movies produced from their own IP and their own animation studio, as uh, clearly with this new animation studio acquisition, that is their future plans. So clearly they're going to build a bunch of movies of Nintendo IP, but what movies possibly fit in those categories? And uh, perhaps will they have a Nintendo Cinematic Universe? I mean. Cinematic universes are like the big rage all over the place, as you can see, like in uh, Marvel and the MCU, Jurassic World um, has like a franchise. Would it just be a franchise, or is it going to be like a, a whole cinematic universe? I think that's, I think, a cool idea for Nintendo, and I'll tell you why. So yeah, I'm going to tell you candidates for possible movies and how they can build their own cinematic universe right now. 
Well, obviously first is the Mario movie, which is already uh, under production, and it's probably pretty close to being done. The next year is going to release and everything, so yeah, obviously the Mario movie is going to come there first. But from that same Mario universe, they can probably make a bunch of spin-offs, like a movie from Luigi's Haunted Mansion, which I think would be a really interesting idea. Kind of makes horror elements along with a little bit more of like an animated vibe and a lot more for like all ages instead of being like, oh, this uh, horror movie is rated R, you know? Now it can be like for all ages, kind of like a fun horror movie. I think it could work really well and it could be really profitable but um in the box office especially if it's done right which not to mention i think could be a really nice thing especially if he, com if he becomes a fan favorite after the super mario bros movie i think that should be a movie that they have on the radar as a possible spin-off from the mario movie because they could do some pretty nice stuff and like i said i think missing those horror elements will add a big box office boost to that movie another thing they could do is maybe a joshi planet type of movie where he finds his own species or his own kind i don't really know how joshi kind of works in the mario universe to be honest i don't know his origin but i think that joshi is just an extremely cute character an extremely lovable character then I'm 100% sure that he's going to become a fan favorite of the mainstream audiences. Kind of like how Baby Yoda became a fan favorite after just like literally just looking at him. Even though he doesn't have that much background in the first season of Lauren into now. But he just became such a fan favorite just by his looks. I think Joshi is going to have the exact same thing. And the movie from him could definitely benefit the box office for Nintendo. And I think they could do a really nice justice to Joshi. And I get a lot of depth with that character, which I think could be amazing for the Mario franchise. Another possible movie they could possibly do is just a Bowser movie. Where like he kind of, maybe he loses after the first movie and now he has to regain power in his own movie that could be very interesting especially with, since he has his own koopa family bowser jr and all his thugs and everything he has his own koopa family so why not have like a family type of crime movie flow despicable me you know what i mean which is kind of funny because they're partnering ways with elimination but i think that's really interesting they could just have like a kind of despicable me type of movie with bowser and the koopa family except that at the end of the movie he doesn't become evil he just gets more attached to his family to make evil things so that would be really really cool honestly i think that i think that has a lot of potential as well um especially despicable me also did a very the box office so this is mostly through a business mindset um the way i'm looking at this i think that could honestly be very profitable uh now for what happens tomorrow at the Mar super mario bros movie what possible sequels there could be well mario galaxy is on the tables for sure i think mario galaxy is something that they should really have however i think this might be maybe like the end of a trilogy instead of the sequel as i think that should be after bowser probably expands his world of crime um and now he wants to like be to have complete universal nomination instead of just like oh let's just get princess speech or something nope now he wants to have complete universal nomination you know there's kind of like a big step from that so i think more galaxy should be waited maybe towards the end of the trilogy i thought it would be really really cool and have that be the, the epic ending of the trilogy which I think would be awesome so instead i think for a sequel i would probably put a uh, mario kart i think mario kart could be a really really nice thing for a sequel mario kart is such a huge uh, mario game you know just itself is super popular everybody loves to play mario kart i'm like oh yeah mario kart. i mean i love to play mario kart i don't know about you guys but i love to play mario kart i think it could be a really nice sequel um i don't know how they would do it maybe ford versus ferrari type of vibe i think that's a really nice pitch for the movie um but overall i think mario kart could be done really well uh, uh on the big screen because racing movies do pretty nicely fast and furious just look at that uh, and it's gonna have a bunch of spectacle and you know they have like the shells and everything the superpowers i think that could be super super awesome so perhaps that's the next sequel who knows but i do think that mario kart movie is somewhere in the lines because i think it's impossible to be making more movies without doing mario kart i would definitely consider mario kart and then mario galaxy as the end of the trilogy i think that's probably where it would go meanwhile you can have other franchises like legends of zelda uh or legends of zelda movie uh following link finding zelda uh and maybe in that movie uh ganon wins power uh in that kingdom but uh link does find end up finding zelda so it kind of sets up like uh, oh we kind of win but we also kind of lost you know type of thing and in the sequel we get link and zelda uh teaming up uh, to defeat ganon and the story and that could be really really interesting you know legends of zelda i that would be super super awesome perhaps i really don't have a lot of uh um, knowledge on soda though so i don't really want to speak too much because i honestly don't know a lot about soda i know like the very very basics so yeah um i think howard soda will be super su super successful because soda is such a fan of a character and has such a hardcore fan base that people would definitely go see that movie especially if it's proven to be done right and it's good the movie would be so so successful so i definitely think that soda is gonna be one of those franchises that's gonna go on for a very very long time uh i just don't know what stories they could follow since i don't have knowledge which is I don't have I can't expand on it but yeah expect a bunch of Zelda movies after the Mario movie I think that would be their first priority if the Mario movie does well and like maybe like a spin-off for a sequel and then after that I think Zelda follows for sure
Then another character that I think would be super, super popular in the box office, and I think uh, a fan favorite as well, is Kirby. Kirby is a very popular character who could also have his own movie where we explore this fantasy world that has to save his planet Popstar from King Diddy's greediness, since we know that he's like super trouble making with his greediness. And I think that would be a really nice movie, uh, especially if they had a lot more depth to uh, King Diddy and Kirby. I know there's a show about Kirby, so I don't really, I have not explored that side of Kirby's character, so I don't know if they had given the story or not. But in general, I think that if they do give a lot of depth to Kirby and King Diddy, I think that would be very nice. Um, especially since they, you know, it has like Dreamland and everything. If they do a lot of world building with Dreamland and all that type of stuff, I think Kirby's going to be a super, super hit movie. Because, you know, it's such an inventive type of um, thing, a concept. You know, it's like, oh, I want to see what Dreamland's all about. You know, I want to see what this is all about. That would be super awesome, super inventive. It's also a very, very colorful, eye-catching world. Like, if you see that Kirby world, you're like, oh, my, kind of that kind of caught my eye. You know what I mean? Because all the colors and everything. So I think this movie could be a really nice visual flair in general. So I think Kirby 1 could be a huge success if it's done right. And then the possible sequel for Kirby could be Kirby versus Meta Knight. Perhaps Meta Knight is teased in the post credit scene of the first Kirby, um, building a lot of hype and leaving fans on the super high note. And then in the second movie, Kirby vs. Meta Knight. Mm. Uh, and it's like a whole kind of mystery as to who is Meta Knight because in the, uh, I know in the kind of lore, you never really see uh, Meta Knight's face until later when uh, you see that he actually looks identical to Kirby but he never speaks or nothing. So it could be like a really nice thing where it's like, oh, uh, who's Meta Knight? And then like somewhere in the middle of the movie, you uh, uh, Kirby takes off his mask and realizes that like, he looks just like Kirby. And then it's like a whole mystery on why he looks the same and everything. And it could be like a really, really more serious, action-packed, uh, drama, suspenseful type of thing over the first movie. And I think the first movie is going to be like a super fun type of play type of thing and it's like a movie could get a little bit more serious because and it can have a lot cooler action scenes with Meta Knight because he's a knight you know he has a sword and he can fly I think that that would make for a lot of even cooler action scenes so I think the second one is the one where the Kirby movie is really going to shine and it's the one that personally for me sounds a lot more interesting they take a more serious take a kind of like mystery type of take and a bunch more action-packed uh sword combat type of thing they were super super awesome another thing I didn't mention is that Kirby's powers are also like super cool and super sad for movies like he can suck things to like get powers you know I mean uh he can turn to rock he can he can float he can do all this and all that and i think that's super super awesome and it would look super cool in movies so yeah i think kirby honestly has some of the best potential for a movie series i think that would be super super awesome and i'm all down for it now once these three movie franchises are set up i think we could have like a sequel or maybe like a post credit scene in each of the ending of these franchises where like their universe kind of collapses into this one single place universe and or i think this would set up well, I think this will set up Smash Bros, the ultimate crossover, kind of like how uh, the MCU had the Avengers, after they had Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor set up. I, I think that could be kind of the thing, you know, to set up Smash Bros, the ultimate crossover, and I think that's going to be a, a fan's dream. Everyone's going to be super, super happy, and I think that's definitely the end goal, or at least, like, the first crossover that they should have, Smash Bros. That would be huge. Especially if these three franchises are like big hits. Imagine all the characters coming together. That would be super, super awesome. And especially if each franchise is, ends up building enough fan favorites. I mean, come on, that's gonna be super, super awesome. I would absolutely love to see the characters that we've all grown to love uh, fight or fight against each other or fight with each other. You know, I think that would be super, super awesome. Perhaps, you know, mat matches that we would have never seen, uh, like versus that we would have never, never seen. Soda versus Mar, you would never see that. Link versus Kirby, you would never see that in their franchises, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Meta Knight versus Link, I think that would be super awesome. You know, stuff like that, I think would be super, super awesome. Joshi versus Kirby, you know, I think it's gonna be, it could, they could it have so much potential with these like crossovers, or maybe they can even do 2 v 2s where it's like team ups that we never thought we would see, you know? Maybe Soda teams up with uh, Princess Peach versus Link, and uh, I don't know, Meta Knight, you know, I think that could be super interesting. You know, I think all this team up and all this thing could be super awesome. What is exactly the reason behind why they have to fight each other and why not? I don't know. I don't really know enough about the Smash Bros. lore. And I don't kind of have a story. I just don't know it. So I'm, I, that's why I don't want to speak about the story or nothing. But I just think that this movie, honestly, has so much potential to, like, fulfill fan dreams. You know what I mean? And also a huge box office bomb there. Like, it would be, like, huge, huge, huge to just see all these characters combine of uh, fighting each other and everything. I think that would be super, super awesome. Apart from that, I think they could even introduce some other characters. What characters? Or they could introduce Do uh, Donkey Kong, which I think would probably have a movie 
after Smash Bros. And same thing with Samus, which could be uh, setting up like a movie, a spin-off movie, Metroid, uh, for after Smash Bros. You know what I mean? I think that would also be a huge hit, especially if Samus is introduced in uh, the Smash Bros. movie, since Samus is a little bit of a smaller name at, compared to like Kirby, Zelda, and Mario. So if Samus is introduced a little bit into uh, the Smash Bros. universe, especially since Samus is such a cool visual looking character, like she looks awesome in that robot suit and she can shoot and everything. I mean, that would definitely captivate my attention. In fact, she did captivate my attention when I played Smash Bros., even though I never knew about the game. So clearly, I think that would work a lot for mainstream audiences, and then they could pull off her own movie in the Metroid movie, and that would be super, super awesome. And that is to the original video that I made, as you can tell by the recording and everything. I just wanted to add that another thing that could also be set up in Smash Bros, or perhaps it could be before Smash Bros or after Smash Bros without its setup, is a Splatoon movie. I think Splatoon also has a lot of potential to have its movie, especially since it's like a conflict between the Oaklings, uh, which is like the, the, the squid human race kind of thing, um, and the Doctorians. The, since they have like that war, I think that could be very nicely implemented into like a movie. I think it could be a really, really good movie. And also another thing is like the visual flair that it has, or the colors and everything, so something that's gonna track a bunch of kids just like Kirby is like Kirby has such a really nice visual flair and so is Soda but Soda has like a different visual flair different audience but uh Splatoon really I think could captivate a bunch of audience thanks to like how colorful it is plus I think the war is gonna have uh, it's gonna be really good for like movie plot wise you know I me mean? I think the plot for a movie from Splatoon would work very very well and they could add a bunch of depth to it if they really want to and make it a deep movie instead of just like oh that's a fun movie they can make it a really deep movie I think it would be super super awesome and even if they're not in the first Smash Bros, because you know you don't want to pack the first Smash Bros movie that much, you can have a second Smash Bros. Maybe like I don't know, every five years they have another Smash Bros movie. Kind of like how the Avengers they have Avengers One, which is a little bit the original team. Then Avengers Two they added more members, and then Avengers Three they added a bunch more members, and then Avengers Four they added even more members. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. I can definitely see that happening with Nintendo thing where they added Smash Bros One, and then like Smash Bros Two, and then like maybe Smash Bros Three is like Smash Bros Ultimate or something with a bunch of more characters, Mega Man, Captain Falcon, uh, all uh, Pac Man, Pac Man. The one they can do a movie about like kind of like horror kind of like ghost um things you know oh he has to get he has to eat the ghost but he has to escape from him he has to get to this power and everything now that could be a really nice interesting concept i don't know how it would be executed and for a movie to be honest but i think it could work pretty well and if not i think that he would still be a good addition to smash bros without his own movie so yeah i think that's how they should completely handle their uh nintendo cinematic universe just to have like a smash bros has have like a franchise set up and then a smash bros movie then add more sequels and more franchises to it and have no smash bros where they have more characters and then they do the same thing over and over and over and i think nintendo could be super super successful with that but i do think that smash bros is the ultimate crossover and i think that would be so awesome and have so much potential especially like can you just imagine team ups and verses that we could have i mean come on there's so much so much potential that i would absolutely love especially if i get as the movie goes on they start adding power-ups and everything and they start making more interesting and they start adding like your ultimate super and everything like i think that we could just have so much potential and the end of the movie could be so epic the ending fight could be so epic and honestly i think this movie sounds awesome and incredible in a fan stream and this is why i think nintendo's cinematic universe could also be super super successful if then right and why i think video game movies might be a thing of the future who knows but i think that if nintendo does this play right i think they could have so much so much success so yeah hopeful for the nintendo universe i, I really hope that they can do this right and they can pull it off hopefully they don't go too goofy hopefully they kind of take their, this thing seriously hopefully they do it justice but yeah tell me what you think about this down in the comments do you like my ideas what personal ideas do you have for future nintendo ip movies uh what do you have for as for story what do you think they could be a good story for a smash what is a good story for Zelda? a good story for kirby all that type of stuff samus all type of stuff i'm very curious to have down in the comments any thoughts any questions anything you want to leave down in the comments definitely make sure to leave down in the comments i'm definitely sure to respond and everything so as well as just leave a like if you enjoyed this video it's very, very helpful i put a lot of work into this video so please leave a like please please and subscribe to my channel for a lot more content like this definitely expect a lot more content especially with one season to the movie start going forward and everything uh and more announcements start getting made i'm definitely gonna be covering all the announcements and everything so subscribe for all the content and yeah that'll be for this video thanks for watching hope you have a great rest of your day and this is jay of entertainment out